I find the Waves LV1 system to be a rock solid system, but I mean, it is still live music, so anything can happen. So today I thought with in this controlled environment, simulate breakdowns of different parts of the system and just kind of see how things behave. So the pieces we have here today is, first of all, the, the mixing console, the LV1 host. In here, I also have a server. Let's bring this up. It's uh, uh, server one. So the server in this case is the, the active server. I also have music coming in uh, on the IOs uh, in the, the Tactus front of house unit. Uh, this is the, uh, uh, this one is the music coming in on the front of house side of things. In here, I have a switch connecting all of this. From that switch, I have a cable running up to the stage. All right, so this is the stage. This is the Cat5 coming from the front of house. Uh, in here, I have another switch. From that switch, I have this server. I have the Ionic and uh, coming in here, I have just music to is, is kind of simulate uh, a, a band. So we go analog into this one. Outputs, I have a stage monitor and uh, left, right coming out of the head speakers. What else? I have a wireless router in the back uh, running uh, mix mirror on the uh, iPad. And uh, yeah, that's about it, I think. Yeah. All right. So first of all, let's uh, let's see that everything works. So um, here we have the uh, kind of house music coming from from here, and this is sent to the stage monitors, and also to the left right. And then we have the music coming from the stage. Uh, it's this one. And this as well is sent to the stage monitor. And to the left, right. All right, so at this point, everything works. Um, so let's start with a problem that I actually had uh, at one point. And it was that the switch in the front of house unit actually died. Let's send some uh, of the music coming from the stage to the left, right, turn off this switch. So uh, simulating a breakdown in the switch on the front of house side of things. All right, so by uh, doing so, uh, everything just died. And let's actually have a look. All right, so the Mix Mirror app actually still works. And uh, that's kind of surprising, actually. So the Mix Mirror actually still works, which is kind of surprising because the switch is turned off, so there shouldn't be a way for this to communicate with the, with the host, but it absolutely does. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, really su surprising though. But uh, all right, let's turn the switch back on. And, and then everything uh, comes back uh, as it should. All right, so let's try something here. Let's uh, remove the server uh, from, the, from the front of the house and actually use the server uh, that's up on the stage instead. And uh, let's put this one as a backup. So uh, the only thing changed is that 
the active server is the one up on the stage. So let's try the same thing and uh, simulate a breakdown of the switch from the front of house. And um, actually it's the exact same thing. Uh, everything dies, but for some reason the uh, Mixed Mirror app still works. All right, so no uh, difference uh, using a server on the front of house or up on the stage. Uh, the system behaves the same way. All right, so let's actually switch back. Let's remove this one. So, so now the server at the front of house is the active server and the server up on the stage is the backup server. Let's simulate a breakdown of the server uh, on the front of house. And uh, in theory, the server on, on the stage uh, would kind of uh, kick in uh, as the backup server. And to really uh, check this, let's engage this plugin and let's just remove all of the top end so it's really uh, apparent if this EQ will still be on uh, when switching servers. So let's have a listen. So now the now the top end uh, is completely gone, but we still hear music. So let's kill the server on the front of house. All right, so everything died for a few seconds, but then came back on with the, the EQ uh, engaged uh, as before. But we still had everything uh, die on us, so uh, uh, yeah. All right, so let's see what happens if we have some music up on the stage coming in here. with the EQ removing all of the top end. Uh, we are using the server up on the stage. So let's see what happens if we remove uh, the, the host from the network. Uh, then in theory, it might work because things are coming in here, are being processed here and going out here. So, uh, yeah, let's see. All right, so uh, I just removed the, the cat cable for the host going into the switch and we still have sound and we actually still have uh, the EQ uh, that's on uh, the, the music and obviously I cannot uh, control anything but uh, the sound is still there so yeah and let's check this one and yeah, the Mixed Mirror app also works. Uh, but obviously we can't control anything because the host uh, is not connected to the network anymore. So let's put it back. Yeah, and as soon as the host connects, yeah, we, we are back to controlling things. Um, so let's actually do this the other way around. Let's uh, have the server on the front of house be the active server. So let's uh, remove this one so that 
this one is the active server and let's have the server up on on the stage be the backup all right so uh, let's remove the host again and it actually behaves the exact same way uh, yeah so having a host failure doesn't affect anything uh, whether or not you're using the the server on on the front of house or up on the stage uh, so uh, yeah that's a good thing i guess all right now let's see what happens if we have a band up on the stage playing uh, we have some sound in monitors and the pa and someone cuts off the cat going between front of house and the stage and everything died all right let's see if there's any difference if we uh, have the server up on stage being the active server and someone cuts the cat5 between front of house and the stage same thing everything just dies actually i think there might be a way around this yeah let's connect this back and let's see actually i think uh, let's have let's have the ionic box be uh, the master clock for all of this so let's set this as the as the master and let's do this test one more time so we have music coming from the stage going to the pa and monitors we are using uh, the server up on the stage as of right now and we have the ionic up on the stage as the master clock all right All right, so when connecting back, the system actually switches for this one to be the master clock. And then we had some, some uh, dropouts. Um, that's kind of strange. Why would it switch back to have this one as the master? Let's just try that again, because that's kind of strange to me. Let's set this as the master, and for good measures, let's just save this show. Oops, uh, let's save the show, so that we know that we have a saved show with the Ionic as the master. All right, uh, got it. Uh, what happens is that the Ionic is the master clock, but when removing the connection between the host and the master clock, the host will automatically find a new master clock, and the only one available is uh, the one in here. So when connecting back, the Ionic think it's the master clock, but it's actually this one, so there will be some, some, some glitches. 
And I guess most of you will actually have both servers in the front of house uh, rack. So uh, actually let's remove this one. So let's just use uh, one server over here. Let's have the Ionic as the master uh, clock and and then uh, remove the, the cat going between front of house and the stage and uh, and everything dies, of course. All right, so let's try with having the server up on stage being the active server. Let's have the Ionic uh, being the master clock and let's simulate a host breakdown. All right, uh, nothing happens, uh, which is a good thing. Uh, everything still works. So let's connect this one again and and it just connects. No glitches, no nothing. So uh, uh, yeah. So in the manual, Wave suggests that you have the server on the front of house side of things. Uh, but with these tests, I would kind of suggest that you have the server up on stage and also have a device up on stage as the master clock. Then if there's a problem with the uh, Cat5 going from the front of house to the stage, uh, yeah, you will not be able to control anything, but there will still be sound. Uh, then again, I cannot really suggest that you do this because uh, uh, well, looking in, in the manual, the right thing would be to have the server on the front of house. But, well, in these tests, uh, it would make sense to have it up on, on the stage. So, uh, so if you are someone who actually knows about this, uh, leave a comment or get in touch with me and let's kind of uh, sort out how you actually would, would do it. Because uh, as of right now, I would suggest one thing, but the manual says another thing. So yeah, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so what's the bottom line here? Well, actually, I'm not sure. Uh, usually I have the device on the front of house being the master. Uh, I have the server on the front of house uh, being the active server. So yeah, I have to think about this. And if you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments or otherwise, because uh, as of right now, I'm I'm a bit torn actually. Uh, so uh, yeah, to be continued, I guess. Take care.